the teenage daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex is said to be a very private person and does not want to post about herself online. In an interview with Naga Munchetti from BBC Radio 5 Live, Sophie said she and Edward are protective of Lady Louise but realize she has to be allowed to live her life. She insisted the decision not to be on social media is purely her choice. The Countess said, I wouldn't deny her going on to it. But she's not really interested in it. There's a few platforms that she talks to her friends on. But that's basically it. She doesn't put anything out about herself at all. She's very private. She's got her eyes fairly wide open. As the Queen's youngest granddaughter, Lady Louise has likely seen how the lives of family members have been affected by media intrusion and online trolls. Her cousin Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle, for example, have described how racist and sexist abuse online damaged their mental health. Perhaps it is for this reason that she has no problem going against the grain of her peers. The majority of teens and young adults in the UK use social media, with 82% of 15 to 25 year olds using YouTube, 80% using Facebook, 79% using WhatsApp, 76% using Instagram, 57% using Snapchat and 44% using Twitter. Sophie opened up about the usual worries she has as a parent. She said, inevitably, there will be moments that, you know, may not go so well for her. I just hope that we can be there to support her through those moments. I would hope that she can go on with her studies, which I think she probably will want to do and I hope that she and her friends will protect her from anything that somebody might want to do. But I have to let her live her life. It's not mine to live. I can only equip her the best that I can and then she has to make her own choices. Louise, who is in her penultimate year of school, has a brother called James, who is 13 years old. They are, not only the Queen's youngest grandchildren, but they are also said to be her favorites. She bonded with Louise over their shared love of spending time at Balmoral, and their shared love of horses and riding. Louise has also impressed her family by how she helps look after William and Kate's children when they are at Balmoral in the summer. During the school year, the family live near Windsor Castle and pre-Covid spent a lot of time with the Queen. Louise attends St. Mary's School Ascot and is studying English, History, Politics and Drama at A level. Meanwhile, James impressed with his fly fishing skills, which reminds the Queen of her own mother, and took over some of the barbecuing, which was previously the Duke of Edinburgh's job. Sophie also opened up in her interview about the giant-sized hole left by the loss of Prince Philip earlier this year. She became visibly emotional as she thought of their memories together. The Countess explained how she experienced waves of grief for her father-in-law, similar to when she lost her own mother. She said, I had the same thing when I lost my mother. I'd be fine, absolutely fine, fine, and something happens or you hear a piece of music or you do something and suddenly you get taken off at the knees. On a happier note, she spoke of how pleased the Duke of Edinburgh had been when Louise took up his pastime of carriage driving. <laughs>